Tonight, support is growing for a North Georgia business owner charged for selling marijuana at his shop. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. He says he was only selling legal CBD products that help with pain and anxiety. Kayla Strayer joins us now live to tell us about the confusion in the Georgia law. Kayla. Yeah, that's right. Just on busy Ringgold Road, the owner of Snapdragon Hemp here says that business has been booming since he opened in East Ridge this year. But just about a mile away in Georgia, he says earlier this year, one of his employees with, was threatened with being arrested for selling the same products they're selling here over in Georgia. As I found out, Georgia authorities are cracking down on places like this. Right now, Stevie Ellis won't even step foot inside his Trenton store. I'm afraid to go in my store because I don't know if I'm what I'm allowed to sell and what I'm not allowed to sell. Last Thursday was a normal work day until officers with the Lookout Mountain Drug Task Force came in. And at first, I was like, okay, this is some kind of, kind of weird joke. He says officers told him a customer reported failing a drug test. They asked me questions about selling marijuana, and I was like, I sell CBD products. Stevie says the products he sells in here contain no more than the legal limit of THC or none at all. But he says authorities told him at least one of his products tested positive for marijuana. There's third party lab testing from all the companies I use to make sure that this does not happen. Stevie was arrested that day, charged with possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell and violating probation. I do have a past and I figured this would be my way to be able to help people. A GoFundMe page has already raised more than $2,000 to help with Stevie's legal bills. The community support has been astronomical. One man supporting Stevie is fellow CBD business owner Josh Manning. Georgia just needs to get on the same board as the federal government's doing. Josh says CBD oil changed his life. It helped me a lot like pain, anxiety, like you know personal issues. I was in a motorcycle wreck about five years ago. I lost my right leg and bad you know bad nerve damage to my body. Josh originally sold CBD products at the I-75 flea market in Rossville for eight months until authorities stepped in. Catoosa County detective come in and said that we couldn't sell any products that were ever derived from any marijuana, you know, any cannabis plant. I reached out to several local sheriff's offices in North Georgia. The one that did get back with me, the Dade County Sheriff's Office PIO, says CBD is able to be sold in Georgia as long as it contains less than 0.3% of THC. He said he couldn't comment any on Ellis's case. His next court date is next month. We will keep you updated. Reporting live in East Ridge, Kayla Strayer, News Channel 9. Thanks, Kayla. As for Tennessee law, business owners say state law there matches up to federal law which allows CBD products to be sold as long as it is not over the legal limit of THC.